A talisman is a lucky charm, someone or something that generates magical or miraculous effects. In other words, it's a game changer. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be predicting the next talisman of the tech industry. If you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'll most certainly be right. During the last decade of Steve Jobs' life, he led Apple's resurgence with the introduction of the iPod, iPhone, and iPad. His death at the age of 56 prompted the media to look for the next leader of the technology world. Here are a few candidates. Scott Forstall, Tim Cook, Jonathan Ive. These are three important Apple insiders. Forstall is in charge of the company's mobile software division and is the youngest executive at Apple. Tim Cook was handpicked by Jobs as the company's CEO. Apple has enormous momentum. Ive is a design guru who is seen as the soul of the company's ethos. The future of Apple is in good hands with these three still in the fold. Larry Ellison, Mark Benioff. Ellison and Benioff are leaders in enterprise software, whereas Steve Jobs became an icon by commercializing consumer products that touched millions of people. It's unlikely the media will turn to this pair to understand the future of tech. Then you say, are we dead? Oh, yeah, we're dead. If there's no hardware or software in the cloud, we are so screwed. <laughs> Bill Gates. Bill Gates has the technical and business acumen, as well as the vision to be a strong voice in the tech world. However, tough critics point out that Microsoft is prone to copy others, and this makes him an unlikely candidate to take over where Jobs left off. Mr. Gates, if you could just comment and tell us what your thoughts are on the job Steve Jobs has done as the CEO of Apple. Michael Dell. While he has vocally criticized Apple, Dell is a wealthy and influential leader of one of the world's largest hardware makers, but his focus on cost seems at odds with the value and quality that Jobs extolled. People come up to you and they say, I bought one of your machines when I was in high school. <laughs> He said just means I'm getting old. Mark Zuckerberg. Like Jobs, Facebook founder Zuckerberg has a keen attention to detail and focus on simplicity. Zuck has a lot of runway to become the face of tech in the 21st century. When people have control over what they share, they're comfortable sharing more. Sean Parker. Parker claims to have changed the world three times with Napster, Plaxo, and then Facebook. Today, he's undoubtedly the bad boy of the tech world. With a soaring net worth and no full-time company preoccupying his attention, he can comment on any topic that draws his attention. Did I just say that publicly? <laughs> Evan Williams. Williams founded two leading communications platforms, Blogger and Twitter. His technical prowess and attention to product might not be up to Apple's standards, but his boardroom coup to get rid of Twitter's founder Jack Dorsey suggests he can handle himself on the business front. So I learned to kind of follow hunches, even though you can't necessarily justify them or know where they're going to go. Sergey Brin and Larry Page. Google is now the dominant force on the internet, and founders Brin and Page are technically unparalleled. However, some of their product launches have fizzled, and this makes analysts wonder if they have the eye for design and product details that made Jobs so successful. Jeff Bezos. Before Jobs became the darling of the tech industry in the early 2000s, Jeff Bezos was considered the most likely candidate for that job. However, even then, it was obvious he lacked the polish that made Jobs so masterful. The answer is yes. Elon Musk, Max Levchin, and Peter Thiel. Since PayPal was acquired by eBay, Musk, Levchin, and Thiel have spawned countless companies in tech. Time will tell if any of these three will really stand out as tech saviors. Yanis Fries, Nicholas Zenstrom. Fries and Zenstrom are credited with some of the most disruptive innovations of the past decade. Juiced was a disaster, and Kazaa kicked the record companies while they were down. But Skype left no doubt about the duo's technical savvy and vision. Mark Andreessen. As the inventor of the web browser, Andreessen made the internet user-friendly. His understanding of aesthetic and design and his successful track record as an investor demonstrates his tech leadership skills and business savvy. So in my view, you have to think about it. You have to know that you're ending up in some destination at some point. Um, and in, in my experience, the great entrepreneurs who really want to build companies, like, they're really smart at thinking about that. Jack Dorsey. Dorsey invented Twitter at 29 and Square at 34. These successes have helped him gain the inside track to becoming the next Bengali among the Technorati. He is similar to Jobs in that he was forced out of his company but eventually made a triumphant return. Having that ability to close off a chapter and move on 
is really, really important. Clearly, Steve Jobs left some big shoes to fill in the tech industry. However, due to the frantic pace of innovation, any of these men could leave a lasting legacy similar to his. Thank you very much.